Hi guys, welcome to my channel English Stories World. My elderly home. The first place that I can well remember was a large pleasant meadow with a pond of clear water in it. Some shady trees leaned over it and rushes and water lilies grew at the deep end. Over the hedge on one side we looked into a ploughed field and on the other we looked over a gate at our master's house. which stood by the roadside at the top of the meadow was a grove of fir trees and at the bottom a running brook overhung by a steep bank while i was young i lived upon my mother's milk as i could not eat grass in the daytime i ran by her side and at night i lay down close by her when it was hot we used to stand by the pond in the shade of the trees and when it was cold we had a nice warm shade near the grove as soon as i was old enough to eat grass my mother used to go out to work in the daytime and come back in the evening there were six young calls in the meadow besides me they were older than i was some were nearly as large as grown up horses i used to run with them and had great fun We used to gallop all together round and round the field as hard as we could go. Sometimes we had rather rough play for they would frequently bite and kick as well as gallop. One day there was a good deal of kicking. My mother invited to me to come to her and then she said, "I wish you to pay attention to what I am going to say to you. The calls who live here are very good calls." but they are cart horse calls and of course they have not learned manners you have been well bred and well born your father has a great name in this parts and your grandfather won the cup 2 years at the new market races your grandmother had the sweetest temper of any horse i ever knew and i think you have never seen me kick or bite i hope you will grow up gentle and good and never learn bad ways Do your work with a good will. Lift your feet up well when you trot, and never bite or kick even in play. I have never forgotten my mother's advice. I knew she was a wise old horse, and our master thought a great deal of her. Her name was Duchess, but he often called her Pet. Our master was a good, kind man. He gave us good food, good lodging, and kind words. He spoke us as kindly to us as he did to his little children. We were all fond of him and my mother loved him very much. When she saw him at the gate she would neigh with joy and trot up to him. He would pat and stroke her and say, "Well, old pet, and how is your little Jarky?" I was a dull black so he called me Jarky. Then he would give me a piece of bread which was very good. and sometimes he brought a carrot for my mother all the horses would come to him but i think we were his favorites my mother always took him to the town on a market day in a light gig there was a ploughboy dick who sometimes came into our field to pluck blackberries from the hedge when he had eaten all he wanted he would have what he called fun with the calls throwing stones and sticks at them to make them gallop We did not much mind him, for we could gallop off. But sometimes a stone would hit and hurt us. One day he was at this game and did not know that the master was in the next field, but he was there, watching what was going on. Over the hedge he jumped in a snap and catching Dick by the arm, he gave him such a box on the ear as made him roar with the pain and surprise. As soon as we saw the master we trotted up nearer to see what went on bad boy he said bad boy to chase the calls this is not the first time nor the second but it shall be the last there take your money and go home i shall not want you on my farm again so we never saw dig any more old daniel the man who looked after the horses was just as gentle as our master so we were well off Thank you for watching.